back again on free code camp doing javascript algorithms and data structures we're in the regular expressions course on challenge 11 of 33 so we're a third of the way there after this today we're going to match single characters not specified so so far you've created a set of characters that we want to match but could also create a set of characters that you do not want to match so these types of characters are called negated character sets to create a negated character set you place the caret character after the opening bracket and before the characters we don't want to match. So if we remember the previous challenges so up to this point, we can look at this string here and kind of see how this is following the pattern of what we've done so far. So we've always, uh, we've seen this pattern where we see a open forward slash square brackets, whatever we're trying to look for, square bracket, forward slash, and then of course GI to match all globally to find all matches, and then I to find all matches regardless of case, to ignore capital or lowercase, just find all matches. What we're doing now is just adding this little caret character to essentially be the not operator. That's how I think of it, is it's like the not operator. So essentially you're telling this, this regex expression is saying to find all characters that are not a, E, I, O, and U. Note that characters like period, exclamation, whatever, um, and white spaces are matched, okay? So the negated vowel characters, uh, wait, are matched. The negated vowel character set only excludes the vowel characters. Okay, yeah, so what this is doing is this is saying match any character that's not A, E, I, O, and U. So the only characters that are negated from this expression are A, E, I, O, and U. This expression will, in fact, match every other character, regardless, right? Every other character, because the G, regardless of case, because of the I, including symbols, because that's how the, the negated characters work. It's everything but uh, A, E, I, O, and U, okay? So that's the idea. Um, we're going to create a single regex that matches all characters that are not a number or a vowel. Remember to include the appropriate flags. Okay, so same idea here. They're just not, uh, looking for every character except vowels, and we're going to be looking for every character except vowels or numbers. Okay, so what we need to do is look is match against this string. This has kind of been the theme. The, we, we're given a string, a quote sample. We have to create a regex called my regex, and then we need to make our result actually match the string against the regex. So uh, the result is going to be assigned to a function call, the match method call. So we'll do that last. But as of right now, let's actually make our expression. So let's change this and off the bat add our square brackets because we know we're looking for a range of characters. So this is kind of be the going to kind of be the default way we're going to do it. And then we know we're also going to look for all of them. We're trying to match all of them and we don't care about case. So we're going to naturally off the bat, just match all of them globally and ignore case. So G I at the end. And now what are we trying to actually match? Matches all characters that are not a number or vowel. So again, the caret symbol tells it to match everything but these. So whatever follows the caret is what it's not going to match. So if I don't want to match numbers or vowels, I can simply say, okay, this regex is looking for not, so the caret, zero through nine, or vowels, so A, E, I, O, and U. So it's gonna match, again, we learned about the hyphen, so any number, zero, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, as well as A, E, I, O, and U. There might be a way to do this by the hyphen for the letters, but in this case, because there's only a couple of them, makes the most sense, just explicitly specify. Okay, so this expression is looking for all characters globally in the string, regardless of case, that are not zero through nine or A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, that sounds about right for what they're asking here. Now we just need to make the result actually test it. So let's see if this is the case. So we know with match, we take the string, we dot match, and then pass the match method, the regex. So I'm gonna take the string, quote, sample, dot match, 
And what do we want to match? Well, that's what the expression's for. It tells it tells the code what we want to match. My regex. And now, once again, just to demonstrate this, this is really all we need for the solution. So if we check that, yep, that works. Just to demonstrate what's actually going on, because again, we want to understand what's happening here and not just chase check marks. Uh, now if we console log result, we can see result is in fact all white spaces, characters, uh, and letters that are not 0 through 9 or A, E, I, O, and U. So you can look at this if you want to, but this is in fact every character, white spaces included, periods included, that is not A, E, I, O, or U, or 0 through 9. So our caret operator, our negated character operator, the caret is working properly and it's not finding these. As opposed to if we did like this and took it out, it would only find, right, numbers 0 through 9 and letters A, E, I, O, and U, as you can see. So that character is kind of, that uh, caret character is the not operator. It finds anything but these. So once again, that's all we had to do. The console log is just for our own understanding to see that, that yep, no vowels, no numbers. And that's technically the solution. So I hope that helped. I hope that made sense, guys. Once again, have any comments, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you ASAP, usually same day. Feel free to please subscribe if you're enjoying the content and also drop a thumbs up if it's helped you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. See you guys in the next lesson.